everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk to you about uh, understanding the impact that has uh, individualism, collectivism, on plagiarism. Uh, to talk to you more about this topic, uh, we have to define some keywords like individualism, uh, collectivism, plagiarism. So, individualism is the <laughs> when you uh, work uh, like an one person, <laughs> okay, uh, you give uh, so much uh, importance to you, that's individualism, so now my friend will define collectivism. Collectivism is another keyword that is very important to define in this article. Uh, collectivism means that it's an idea that the individual's life uh, belongs not to him but to to the society or the group where he belongs to. Uh, in, in this idea, you just uh, take care about the group, uh, you <coughs> sacrifice your values uh, for the group's great, greater good. Uh, so you, you do not take uh, choices just by your own. Uh, you think always ab about the group and, and they and talk about uh, the choices, uh, the options that you have and take the better one that the better for the group. Now my partner is going to talk about plagiarism. Well, plagiarism is the act of taking another person, person's writing, conversation, some or even an idea, and passing it off as your own. This includes information from web pages, books, songs, television shows, email messages, interviews, articles, or, an, or any other medium. Whenever you paraphrase, summarize, say words, phrases, or sentences, from another person's work, it is necessary to indicate the source of the information within your perfect paper using an internal citation. So this means that whenever you have to do homework or something like you have to summarize something from another person, you have to, to, to make internal citation to not have a problem with uh, plagiarism because there are some uh, author's rights that you have to take into account. Uh, so now my friend is going to explain more about this. Uh, after knowing uh, the definitions of these keywords on, our, on the theme of the article, I will give a brief explanation of what's the relationship between between these these words and the article. The article talk about plagiarism, a problem around the world world uh, with almost all the students. Uh, Students are copying uh, phrases or work of, of other people. Mm, what those these words are related with the with the theme is that what like the reasons why these people is plagiarism, uh, like individualism is like each individual and do what doesn't work, don't validate their work. Collectivism is like when you you hurt or you pay so much attention to, to, to the other people. So there are many reasons why people is plagiarism. This is not correct and that is why many studies around the world to try to, to control and put a stop uh, for this problem. Uh, the, the article talks about uh, plagiarism on different cultures. Uh, the reasons uh, why 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 those we have this problem. Uh, there are many many reasons uh, why it why it why it is happening. So I led you with. My friend, so that you can give you well, a conclusion. Uh, our conclusion is, hey, you have, you work the same as the person that has the idea. You have the same capacity of taking those ideas. Yours, don't steal ideas. You have the same capacity as the, the person that did it. And it seems very bad to steal ideas. So please, make conscious, be conscious and make your own ideas. Yes, uh, 
as a final conclusion to reverse a little bit what he said. Uh, this problem is because cultures, different cultures, different education, uh, maybe on their education or their culture, uh, their parents or their teacher don't don't thought, uh, thought, uh, to to validate their work. So I also invite you to validate your work and don't copy others work. Uh, if you are working hard, you may you must validate your work. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you. Thank you.